Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and uh, we're going to continue on with uh, some of the older figures that I haven't covered uh, yet as we wait on more, uh, I guess, newer product. And um, I thought I'd look at this guy. I never picked him up right away. Uh, I ended up getting him eventually when he went on sale because I didn't recognize who he was at first. I think that says a lot about how this guy turned out. Did it necessarily mean that he is a bad figure or a bad representation of the character he's supposed to be? No. It's a little bit confusing. I'll try and explain and clear it up when we look at Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Skids in the latest GotBot True Review. Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. GotBot. And as always, check me out everywhere. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out Machinery Man and the Everything Factor. And we're going to talk about this guy. And we're going to measure him as we always do with our paint apps, our posability, playability, and our transformation. And when I first saw this guy, I was not sold on the look. I said, it, it, it's, it's all right. He looks like a, a pretty good transformer. I don't remember skids. And I didn't. I had to go back, I had to do some research, and when I reminded myself who Skids was, I remember how cool I thought he was uh, years and years ago during the G1 era. And I, I thought his alt mode was very interesting. It was kind of a... I don't know, minivan SUV type of thing was different. It didn't stand out, and this guy never stood out. And he did appear a couple of times in the uh, animated series, of course, and the original animated series. I, I shouldn't confuse things there. Um, and he didn't really do anything too much that stood out. He was just sort of there, to be honest with you. You know, yet somehow he managed to catch on as, uh, I guess, a... Uh, a beloved character um, that a lot of people actually thought was really cool. Now, here's the thing, and here's why I didn't recognize him, because the alt mode is different, the general look is kind of different, even though the paint apps are actually quite good. I understand that this is based on, uh, you know, more of a modern IDW design, and that's, that's fine. It's a bit of a reinterpretation. That's cool. I get it. No problem there. Uh, I do like this color scheme better than the, uh, I guess it was Transformers Legends um, color scheme from Japan, even though I know that that's more accurate to the comic. And if you are, you know, following the comics and you're down uh, with those designs, then hey, this guy is a pretty great representation. But as an update, <sighs> while I want to give his paint apps uh, about a nine, because the sculpt is so different, the style is kind of so different, um, and it really didn't remind me immediately of the character it's supposed to be, I'm going to have to give it about a six. It's not that it's bad. It's just, it is a, certainly a reinterpretation. Um, and, you know, and I guess that's okay. Uh, in terms of poseability, playability, Oh boy. Okay, so he rolls great in vehicle mode, and this blaster in his hand can actually separate into, you know, two weapons. One is based on the comic book, one is based on his uh, uh, G1. And there are pegs on the sides, and they can peg into the sides of the vehicles. No problem. Or vehicle, I should say, no problem. But in this mode, unless you're going to put it in his hand, there's really no storage for it. Uh, I feel like that's a real weakness. The best I've been able to do is to somehow kind of fit it like this sort of up behind. It, it does It does go in there. It's not great, but it does go in there. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I'm taking that out of it for now. I'll take that out of it. Um, 
he should stand like a champion because of his huge feet, but he doesn't really. He he must be very back heavy, I guess. I find he is sort of precarious. My thighs were not misassembled, uh, so I consider myself fortunate there. Or at least I assume they weren't misassembled because I actually tried changing them around, and when I did, the leg could not go forward at all. At least now it goes forward this much. It's not great, but it goes forward. Um, Okay, so he rolls great. He has ever so many weapons. Uh, he also has like blasters here on his back. They can kind of they come up over his shoulders. So he has weapons up on his shoulders. He has, uh, I guess, missile pods in his shoulders. He has these weapons here and um, here, uh, and of course he has the blasters in his hand. He's loaded. Even though, according to his tech specs, he's not very strong, and I believe his fire blast is only four? That doesn't really match up with all the armament that this guy has. Um, but again, I think it's kind of cool that he has it, and, you know, blasted be the tech specs. Um, that being said, if he's not supposed to be that strong, I guess you could always just keep these shoulder ones folded back in, and you can actually close up. I can do it. Actually, I guess you can close these under his arms. And over here, um, is it up I have to take this? I think it's up I have to take this. And I always tend to kind of pull on the wrong thing. Okay, so I'm starting to close up the shoulder piece here, and I'm going to tell you, they're super tight on mine. Very hard to open, very hard to close on my copy. I, I, I like to think that it's just my copy. Um, so when he's not armed up, I guess, this is, if he'll stand, man, I have to have him hunched over a lot. If he's not armed up, that's basically what you have. Um, the head is on a ball joint that goes left and right, little bit up, little bit down. Uh, the arms have a 90 degree bend and a bicep swivel, which is nice. Nothing at the wrist. The shoulders don't have a huge range of motion. They can, if you don't have the guns up over shoulders, they can go up that far, but that's about it. Or at least that's about as far as I can get. Uh, if I put these up out of the way. His legs can go all the way up to the side. They can go back that far, ahead only that far, thigh swivel, uh, ratcheted knee, which I don't really understand, and uh, a little bit of movement down here, and he does have ankle tilts, uh, more out than in, um, but that's because of transformation. I don't, because he's not real stable, and because there are limitations with the shoulders and with the hips. I don't feel like he has the best of articulation. Honestly, I give it somewhere around, around a six and a half. Um, I'm not super impressed. I'm glad I didn't pay full price for this guy. Um, here he is compared to a more modern day figure. This is my custom uh, Combiner Wars Trailbreaker. Uh, and he does scale well, I'll give him that. So, you know, we're looking at about a six and, uh, you know, a, a six and a half, we'll say. He's about a 6.25 so far. He's not a standout figure in my personal opinion. Enough that I wouldn't go hunting for uh, his repaint crosscut or, you know, the AOE version of this guy. I, the mold was used a bunch of times and I don't know why because it's not particularly great. At least in my opinion. Now, we'll get into transformation. Maybe, maybe that'll salvage him. Maybe he'll be better with transformation, right? Right? <laughs> okay, so, transformation for this guy. It's actually, for a line where they're simplifying transformations, he uh, still came in a time when they were a little bit complex. Uh, and a little bit fiddly, to be honest with you. So, We'll have a look, we'll see here now. Uh, let's see, how do I want to begin this? I guess you can pull the front out 
and pull the backpack off just so you have some room here to work. If you hadn't already closed the shoulder pieces, do that. It's probably going to be challenging for you. Next, uh, this little red piece that makes his elbow, actually sort of bend that in because you're going to need it done later on. And actually sort of just nudge that in because there are tabs right here that are going to go into slots on the side of his body, basically. Um, where do I want to go next? Uh, we'll pull out the windshield. Right, you just pull it, it was down over his back, you just pull that up. You can take the doors and bring them down and take the doors and bring them down. That stuff is probably going to move a little bit now during transformation, but that's okay. That's all right. I wouldn't worry too much about it. We'll sort it out in a few minutes. Okay, uh, I would suggest now that we got those couple of easy things done, let's start with the legs and feet and work our way up. So, uh, what do you do here? You turn the foot around and you angle it up. You turn the foot around and you angle it up. When you angle it up, it'll tab in along right here to give you the back of the vehicle, basically. Um, next, you want to turn him at the waist. So now the backs of his legs are showing forward. Um, these peg together. There's a peg here and here, and there's a slot up here and down here. So there are two pegs there that go together. Sometimes they don't like to fit together perfectly well, to be honest with you. Uh, it might be even be better if you flip the feet up now, to be honest with you, and then try and peg it all together. There you go. There's the back of the vehicle done. Basically, uh, we can push the backpack down because that's going to kind of become the roof. And you can see how this guy's starting to come together. Now you need to get the arms in. Some people put the arms in first, and you could do that. Um, it really, I guess it doesn't matter. It's probably a bit easier to put the arms in first, but I just find it's easier to angle them in this way because the guns need to go in a little space up here, and the hands kind of go down right here. Same on this side. Guns go up to a little space, and the hand goes kind of down below that space. You can fold in the toes, too. It'll probably give you a little bit more room to maneuver and get everything in like this. And that's how the bottom of them should basically look now. Uh, if you haven't done it already, there are uh, there's the little tabs on the arm. They go into the side of the body. You can do that now. Uh, of course, trying to do that on camera with a black body is really hard. Hold on. Okay, so here's what I got done now. Both arms are tabbed in on the side. Um, and he's starting to come together. Go to the front and take the head and flip that in. Uh, all the way like that to give our hood. And then this piece will angle back up and come in between, <clears throat> I guess, the two shoulder pieces. But I find, again, you have to sort of finagle it in there. It's tight. It comes up to the windshield. And now these shoulder pieces push in, if you can do it. Again, tight. And the windows and doors, they come down along the side and along the side. And these will peg in. And these will peg in. Now it's just a matter of, really, of kind of, I have a gun stuck out there. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted to happen. There you go. That goes in. All that comes down now and just sort of pegs in. And all of this comes down and just sort of pegs in. And pegs in. Like that. And boom. In the end. There you have skids in his vehicle mode, and he does roll great. You can take his two uh, weapons, you can leave them together, or you can take them apart and peg it in there on the side, and peg it in uh, here on this side. Um, and that tab kind of came out a little bit. And
There you go. Right there. Um, it, it's definitely more of a car than, you know, an SUV or a minivan type of thing. It's okay, but again, it doesn't put me in the mind of skids. The, getting the front piece up between the shoulders is a bit rough, bit tight, and I don't feel like the, the plastic of the hood is the thickest. Uh, I think it's fine for collectors. I don't know if it would be real durable for kids. Um, I could see a lot of people forgetting to peg the arms in, and if you don't angle the arms in ever so slightly like this, the whole thing is not going to go together. It's not that it's a bad transformation, but there are <clears throat> very specific little pieces of it that you have to keep in mind or it's not going to work. I would give this transformation about a 7. Overall, Skids is <sighs> about a 6.5. He's okay, he's not great, unless you really need uh, skids in your collection. I don't know if I'd hunt them down. I certainly wouldn't be paying top dollar for him. Um, like I said, I, I got this guy for about 11 bucks, so... And that's 11 bucks Canadian, folks. Um, so, it was worth it, uh, you know, for sale like that, but... That's about as much as I would be willing to give this guy. Anyway! That's it for him. Another one in the books. Thanks for dropping by and giving me a bit of your valuable time. You know that I appreciate it. And I really look forward to hearing what you guys think and having another visit the next time we get together right here inside the videos.